Hey everybody, it's Matthew Reiner. It's another Seven Wonders of the Ancient World DIY pop. Today we're going to make the statue of Zeus at the Temple of Zeus in Olympia. Oh, it's one of those ancient wonders. And what's cool about all these pops is we can put them together and it, it forms, it combines to form a giant map of the ancient world. And you can see where all these seven wonders used to be. There's only one that's still left. Let's learn a little bit about uh, the, the temple of Zeus at Olympia. Now this giant statue of Zeus stood about 41 feet tall and it was built for a temple to Zeus, the god of thunder, the, the king of the god, ancient Greek gods. Um, and it was built in this temple in Olympia, Greece. Now it's said that the statue was made of wood and then covered in ivory and gold panels and all kinds of other jewels on top of it to decorate it. It was an amazing thing when you walked in this, this temple. I mean, Zeus was touching the ceiling. He was huge and he was made to look that way so that you cowered and, and feared him. Of course, you wanted to pray to him and say, hey, you know, do all some good stuff for us. Though the details are kind of unknown, the statue was lost and destroyed sometime uh, around the fifth century. So they say sometime around like the late uh, 490s um, AD. So we don't know exactly what happened, um, but it's too bad. You know, another one of these ancient wonders lost to history. All right, you want to get started making this really cool pop? All right, download the temp template down below, and um, you're going to click, see that little link down there? Click on it, download that template. You're going to print out the template uh, onto cardstock. You know, cardstock is a little bit heavier than regular paper, you know, and you can use any color you want. Um, we're just for example, we're just using um, a white cardstock. We're going to print out um, all the different pages onto that cardstock we're gonna actually score all the fold lines. So you're gonna see all these dotted black lines. So go ahead and use a ruler and a big old paper clip. And we're gonna um, just rub the edge of that paper clip, the rounded edge, um, along each one of the dotted black lines. And you'll use your ruler kind of as a straight edge. Look at that. By the way, this is Kirsten. Those are her hands, by the way. The, um, it's my voice, of course. Um, and um, so, oh, you didn't even need to mention that. You can cut that part out. So let's look, let's see all these different um, dotted lines here. This one has a lot of dotted lines. So you're gonna score a lot here. And remember to press a little with that paper clip. Just press into it just a little. See, because what it's gonna do is it's gonna make those fold lines fold a lot easier once we've cut out all the pieces. Now this pop-up uses a lot of what are called layers. And layers are super easy. It's kind of, they're also called box layers. They're super easy to use. All right, next, let's cut out the pop-up pieces. And what do we do? We follow the black solid lines with a nice pair of scissors. Now use a pair of scissors that you like, that, that are comfortable for you to use, whether they're big, whether they're small, whatever, something that you can manipulate well. And you're gonna notice that when we cut out the pieces, we actually move the paper more than actually um, moving the scissors around so that we can get around those edges. See like how that moves? We just kind of rotate the paper. We do all that. Look at how good that is. We've cut out all the pieces. Look at them. They're all there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just pre-fold everything. Now I know you're saying, uh, we, we already scored this, Matthew. They should be easy to fold. But we're just going to like sort of tell our pop-up pieces which way to fold. So let's get started, you know, and they'll be easy to fold because we scored them already, right? So let's fold this right here, this main piece right here. And we're gonna fold the other ones. This is just, we're just telling that paper, hey, you need to go this way. Hey, you need to go that way. See, we're gonna fold this going back and this tab just like that. Just like that. Now let's move on to the next piece. This piece is a little weird because there's a seat. That's gonna be the throne that um, Zeus is sitting on. And um, we're gonna fold these tabs going this way and this way. And now the middle is going to be interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it going this way. And we're going to push the inside. See how the inside goes in? So these two outer parts go. There we go. The outer parts go out. And that part goes in. Just like that. See how that goes? Now that's, that's um, like I said, there those are layers. And that kind of... Um, See how that works? It's kind of like a box. You can see it right there. But super easy. They, they fold really well. Okay, so let's get this last piece that's actually Zeus himself. He's hanging out there going, hey, what's up? Now he's real flat now, but we're gonna, we're gonna fold this tab going this way. And then this piece goes like that. And then we're gonna fold this little tab going backwards. 
and his other arm goes this way. And now let's fold his waist and his, his legs. And then at his ankles, we're gonna fold it where his feet are. All right, let's get to assembling this amazing pop for our Seven Wonders giant mega pop-up poster map thingy. Whatever, you can call it whatever you want, actually. All right, so let's get some glue. You just use some regular craft glue, glue or something like that. Um, you can even use like um, uh, a glue stick if you like. But we're just gonna make sure that when you glue stuff that you only glue them within these gray areas. So this is glue tab A here, and you can see tab A up at the top of the throne piece. And we're gonna put some glue in that area just in there. You're gonna see that the, the tab matches the exact shape of the gray shape on the base page. So B is gonna go down here. I like using like craft glue like Elmer's or something like that, um, simply because it's just easier. It, you'd be surprised how quickly it can dry. You just have to give it a minute or two. So you just get it in that area. And the re other reason why I like using um, glue that's in a bottle is I can kind of, you can, you can aim it in the right direction rather. You know, you don't get it all over the place. You can, you can squirt it just within a certain area. And see how, that, see how that fold there, it lines up with the center fold of our base page. Look at that lines up perfectly and those tabs go that way. Look at that. There is our box fold throne. Now this is the back of the throne here. We're gonna, that's tab C and that's gonna glue to the base page. And see that pattern part D? That glues right there on the throne piece. So let's get some more of that glue. Hey glue. And we're gonna just put you, oh hi, I'm the glue and I'm gluing right in this area. Mmm, that's great. All right, we're gonna glue here and that's glue tab D and C. Just like that. And we're going to put this tab right in place. Just like that. And let's send, fold it down. See how that goes there? And it fits exactly right there in place. Really nice. Nice and clean. Now, um, we, we don't do it in this um, video, but you can decorate this yourself and, and add whatever colors and things you want. Um, let's finish. Let's finish. Um, Assembling though, we're going to put this tab here at the top of the head. That goes there, and see it fits. And we're just holding it upside down here so that we can get that tab to glue into place. And the reason why I like to do that is so that you don't see the tab. We don't want to see the tab that's underneath the head. And then we're going to pull down. See how that fit perfectly? Look at the 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 arm tab is going to go right there on the uh, arms of the the throne. See, those fit exactly there. So let's put some glue, get that part done. Just within that gray area. There we go. See, they fit right there. Make sure your pop is flat. Now see, um, Zeus's waist lines up with the center of the base page fold. See how that goes? And now we're going to glue his, his uh, rear end right onto the seat of this throne right here. Zeus's butt. Did you ever think you'd be saying that in a pop-up video? No. So we glue his butt right down to that seat. Thanks there, Zeus. You're sitting there in the right place. It's the right kind of throne. And then this is the last one. This is the feet tab, and they're going to glue down to the base page in that shape. And you can see the tab fits just right there. All right, now let's glue on the cover to our pop-up of Zeus. And it's gonna go right on top here. And you're gonna make sure that the fold is, is on, the, on the top of that piece, all right? So if you see the writing or whatever, um, the, the, the fold should be going towards the top of the pop-up that, you know, when it's closed. So put some glue on there. Oh, don't you hate that when your glue bottle like gets stuck and you have to, oh gosh, and the glue. And then you squeeze the glue really hard and then the glue kind of comes out and there's a huge, you know, puddle of glue everywhere. Cause you, you pre oh, this is the story of my life. This is the story of my life mess everywhere. So here we go. We're gluing this cover right here on the um, top of our pop. And then this pop, uh, after we put the cover on our, our pop, it's going to go on the map piece right there. See, it goes right there. So we just put some glue on the back of this, stick it on there. Let's do that. And you're going to let it dry. You're going to press it down, let it dry. And then when, once you finish all of these um, different Seven Wonders of the World Pops, they're all gonna assemble into a giant cool map. I'm so excited to make that final one. Um, and that's coming up next. So be sure to check it out. Okay, here it is. 
There he is, Zeus, in the Temple of Olympia. Oh, he's so cool. Now you can decorate him, you can do whatever you like. This is Matthew Reinhardt, and this is another learning unit, The Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. I hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Hey, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.